Hi, Paul Gorney from Luxury Living in Chicago. Going to take a very close look about the pros and cons of Winnetka, Illinois. Um, just reach out, call, text, email. If you have any questions, nothing too small about relocating to or questions about the housing market, living in, things to do for families in Winnetka or the surrounding area. Um, Winnetka, Illinois is ranked as one of the top places to live in Illinois by niche.com. It's a very popular location, very well known on Chicago's North Shore. So the North Shore is along the lakefront, north of the city, you know, just north of Northwestern University. So if you're coming from out of town, moving to Chicago, and you're looking for typically people that are looking for a quiet suburb with um, many times older homes, renovated homes, and very highly ranked schools, which niche.com ranks the schools in Winnetka very high in the state of Illinois. Some of them are known nationally. Um, then this is a place that people really, you know, are attracted to typically. Um, so schools, proximity to the lake are just huge factors for people. One thing that you want to keep in mind though, when looking at Winnetka, as far as maybe a little bit of a detraction sometimes are people coming from different housing markets like Texas, um, places where there's a lot of newer homes, um, maybe be, the prices are a little bit more affordable, um, are sadly, um, you know, are sad <laughs> when they get here because the homes in Winneka, many of them are more traditional, vintage homes. Many of them are beautifully redone, um, but you know, there's a price tag that comes with those as well as the new construction. So, um, you know, if people are looking for a home for a million dollars or less, there's definitely limited options in comparison to other areas. Um, a big chunk of the homes in Winneka that sell are between one and two million dollars with the prices going all the way up to, depending on the year, it could be eight, 10, 12 plus million dollars. So depending on what people are doing with their homes, new construction, buying land, doing with their money. And right now there's a lot of things going on. So typically uh, Winneka has uh, tremendous things to do um, as far as uh, festivities goes, um, different festivals, at the end of the school year, there's a beautiful carnival for the younger kids um, in just a great park. We've gone to it for years. And then you can just walk downtown uh, to all the restaurants, coffee shops, you know, toy shops, smoothie shops, juice shops, everything is, is kind of right there in the downtown area. The other thing about Winneka that's pretty cool is there's another area called Hubbard Woods. It's like a second downtown area uh, of Winnetka. And it's a little bit of a drive, maybe three minutes, maybe about two, three, about two miles maybe away. And it's right up against Glencoe, another uh, northern suburb that I've spoken about. And that area also has a ton of shops, restaurants, big park. Uh, they have bands play. They have music, uh, Winnetka Music Festival. Uh, they have a playground, they have a splash pad, you know, where the kid, the water's coming out and uh, the kids run around. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Uh, there's two train stations in Winnetka too um, that you can get on. So that is access to downtown. So great access to downtown on a nice, quiet commuter rail. Uh, the other thing on the flip side that you want to be aware of in Winnetka is it's it's a pretty small suburb it's around 12,000 people that live there in comparison to the neighboring suburbs that can be 24,000 50,000 it's a little bit smaller of a community so you know some people really like that it's kind of cozy nice you get to know everybody a little bit more um, the schools you know you really get to know people but some people want a little bit you know more options for socializing, events, more parks, even though the parks are beautiful in Winnetka, um, you know, there's other areas close by that have many more parks. Um, one thing you will not get in many other locations though, is a beach. Um, so there's, you know, some very interesting uh, options in Winnetka. There's one beach that goes between two beautiful, huge homes on the lakefront. And this is a very quiet, 
type of beads. It's like a postage stamp beach. And you're right next to homes that are, you know, maybe $10 million, one of them. Um, and their beach is right there. There's kind of an imaginary line. And then you have a little tiny postage stamp secret public beach. Um, you also have other larger beach options, obviously, and, and bigger parks right on the lakefront. But, you know, there's some pretty cool uniqueness, kind of small town feel, a lot of history in Winnetka, um, all the way going back from when it was, you know, forest and um, uh, originally Native Americans and, and then, uh, you know, the forest being cleared and just really pretty amazing history. But it's always been kind of a, a very nice, highly regarded area just north of the city. So if you're looking for you know that the schools the coziness the access to the lake uh access to downtown i mean i'll be there for you um thing to keep in mind as far as housing goes though besides the cost the housing stock is you know very um traditional there's some areas close to the town either one of the downtowns that are more um you know city streets kind of feel um you know sidewalks um, kind of like a grid pattern for the most part. And then you have other areas that have been developed further west, closer to the expressway, away from the lake. And those are more, you know, have more of a subdivision uh, type setup uh, were developed later. They don't have the grid pattern. They have more winding roads. And some of them further west, um, you touch here and there on some, um, you know, flood areas where you have to check the, the map and the map is kind of ever changing, but you will be required in many of the homes to have flood insurance. Um, you did, you do get close um, to the forest preserve and um, you know, that's beautiful, but it does bring, you know, in that direction that you get closer to the flood zones. So something to, you know, keep an eye out for. The market's just sizzling though, like, Homes that are a million one to a million five are just flying off the market. Ranch style homes on bigger lots, which are the ones away from the lake, are just flying off the market. Builders are buying them, adding second levels. People are buying them, completely gutting them, finishing the basement, or putting an addition on themselves. Many of them are, you know, 0.8 acres up to 1.1 acres in that kind of range, and uh, just a lot a lot a lot of uh, demand big time so uh people coming from the city or coming from out of town it's a good value you know when you can kind of create the home you want on such a big piece of property um the one thing that is kind of tough with these sometimes though is right now getting the work done the timetable the costs you know you really have to know your numbers and at the same time the market's at such a high point and such demand that, you know, it can get kind of crazy. So you got to watch the numbers. I was just in a multiple offer situation with a client yesterday, three offers on a property. Um, they, my clients decided kind of at the last second that they're going to stick with something a little bit further towards the lake. They were getting um, kind of, you know, really interested in getting something done. So they were starting to sacrifice and they decided they were sacrificing a little too much. They want to stick to their guns and keep closer to the lake. But somebody else just snapped it up, you know, very desirable, these properties. And some that have been sitting on the market for like a really long time are just flying now, you know, after the first of the year, the spring market. So these are all really important things to keep in mind with Winnetka. A lot of good stuff, but some, you know, things you got to keep in mind that maybe aren't so great for people coming in, depending on what you're used to, what you want, where you're coming from. Because um, price, lot size is, you know, fairly tight compared to other areas of the country, close to town, but then you have the bigger lots further away. Um, so all things to keep in mind, just text, email, call anytime. Um, you know, been selling here for 30 years, can pretty much steer you in the right direction. Definitely have your back, whatever you need. Uh, just reach out anytime.